Hello everyone. It's another Song Temba video. Sorry, you don't really, you haven't heard of Song Temba? Well, go down to the clicky bits to the description and you'll find a link there to Studio Live Today, Pete Johns, his website, full description basically to create, record and release a song in the month of September. There's lots of us doing it, apparently. So I've heard. No, there are. There, there's quite a number. And some people have actually finished their song already, but it's not too late to start. I've made a start, and in this video, we're going to take a look at what I've got, as far as the song's concerned. Okay. G'day. I'm Kionra. Enough silliness. Let's just get on with it, shall we? Yes, let's just get on with it. Welcome to Kionra Music and my song for Song Timber. All right, so here we are in Cakewalk by Band Lab. And I have done a little bit of work since the last video, which was only a couple of days ago. If you have missed that one, you would have seen, uh, just go look at it later. Honestly, catch up. I mean, why are you? Uh, anyway, doesn't matter. I've changed a few things since last time you joined me. And look, thank you for joining me. If you like this sort of content about Writing a song in a door. This one is Cakewalk by Band Lab. It's a cool door. It's not a warm door. It hasn't got a handle. It's a anyway digital audio workstation. D A W. Different kind of door. What was okay. I'm doing stuff with things regarding a song in Cakewalk. If you like this sort of stuff, and I also do singing and other bits and pieces, writing songs, lyrics, um, what else? Music psychology, what about the brain and stuff, how that affects us as far as singers and songwriters and how we can be better at doing stuff. All right, enough of that. So do the likey bit and do the subscribe. Ring the bell so you know when to it's cowbell. Ring the bell, the clicky bits down there, and have a look at Pete's website too while you're in the description. On with this. Let's just have a listen. It's a bit different to last time. It's not great. It's getting better. And as Pete says, practice is progress. Certainly not perfection by any means. Let's have a listen.
Well. All right. It's, I've done stuff with things. All right, so what I've added is I've done some chords on um, session guitarist strummed acoustic two, which is from uh, Complete, Native Instruments Complete. Uh, I've done that because I have got a nylon string classical guitar. Let's just leave it there. It's been packed away for many, many, many years. I haven't played it for at least five years. I could pick it up again, but not know it well enough to be able to record in a song yet. So maybe in future songs I might play my own instruments, but best for everyone's ears and hearing that I don't. So I've got a bit to learn about how a lot of these virtual instruments work, but it's not sounding too bad. So I've got I've got that in there because I just wasn't happy with some of the instruments. The other one I changed was I added um, this one, which is from UJAM. It's a Groove Mate One Shaker, and that does the tambourine shake claps all in one hit. I love one button things. Some people would say it's cheating. I don't. It's an extension of our ability to do stuff and technology is an extension of being human. I'm going to stick with that one. If you don't like it, okay. And then I have a fruit shaker because why not? Because apparently bananas and apples sound like this. I didn't know they sounded like that. Put them together, they sound like that. So why not? I mean, there's a little bit of that in there. A lot of it needs a lot of fixing up, I must admit. All right. So we've still got our hats and cymbals, tom, snare, kick, cowbell. I haven't done anything with the cowbell yet. See, that's, that's the star of it, other than my vocals. I'm a bit nervous about that one. I'm really. See, with vocals, I get nervous when I go in front of the microphone because I'm not used to that. Put me in a concert hall with tens of thousands of people, I feel right at home. Put that microphone in front of me, it's a different challenge. So this will be an interesting couple of weeks ahead. I'm up for the challenge. Oh, looking at the tape. No, a week. <clears throat> Busy week. Okay, I have got a track here ready to go. See, there's a little. Anyway, so yes, but nothing is there yet because I'd like to fix the rest of the, the things. I also took out the synth pads that were there. It just wasn't working. But I copied and pasted the MIDI data from what I had done previously in my previous video with the synth pads, I put them into the strings. Makes way more sense and they sound a lot better, but. They are extraordinarily boring. And I've, <laughs> met and know quite a number of string players in an orchestra and they would fall asleep playing that. So we, I've got to spice that up a little bit, but in context with the rest of the song. <laughs> so there's places for it to be a little bit of a flurry of a, a first and second violin perhaps there. Uh, just to add a little bit of, you know, ear candy, so to speak. I do like this bit of the song, the pre-chorus in this bit. It won't, I'm very tempted to copy and paste this bit to the first pre-chorus, but nah, 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 just, that's just wrong because you, you're introducing everything all at once. It needs to be very gradual. So I've got to hold back 
and less is more. So I really do like this bit. And then going into that bit, that's really nice. So I like <clears throat> 12 bars of it. Hmm. The rest, not so much. <clears throat> so I thought, I'm not quite sure what I want to do right now, but I know I need to work on it and do something. I definitely want to pan these two guitars, one left and one right. They are different sounding. So one's, this, this is from Spitfire Audio. Uh, both of them are from Spitfire Audio. The free ones. This is a Moon Guitar Ensemble. That sounds very nice. I do like that. And then I wasn't quite sure what to do with it. And then the electric guitar, it, it's not strummed. It's... And I could put that through some amp sims. But I thought it just sounded nice like this. And I'm thinking that sort of top counter melody sort of line might be in the other bits with the strings. And I might not bring the strings in down here until over here again. Less is more, start off small, build up, build up until the climax at the end of the song, which is the final chorus. So I think it's really important to keep an eye on what you're putting where and how and when and when to bring things in. You don't want to have too much too soon. So... Uh, I'm, I'm going to have a little bit of a play. I'm going to, I'm going to cut the recording for a bit, have a play, see what I can find. Cause I don't want to bore you too much. Your time is valuable. You have to get your own song done. I don't want to waste your time. I'll be back soon. It, this, it'll be like no time has passed at all. And then I'll be here again still. So in a minute we'll catch good. Do, do the like and the subscribe. The, the, while you, I'll be right back. Okay, so this is just a practice run. I've had a little bit of a play with something and I think this will work. So let's just have a listen and I'll see if I can. <laughs> As a keyboard player, I'm a really good singer. Hmm. Let's have a go. See, that's no good already. Uh. Take two. Let's try that again. There we go. That's what I'm after. That'll work. On ties for the win. Let's do it. Let's get this done. Otherwise, we are going to be here all night. No. Nothing wrong with that. Kind of. I've got pictures of my family. It's okay. They contact me by putting a comment below. You could do the same if you want to. Keep in touch. I love to chat because I'm here in my studio all the time. Apparently, there's other rooms in the house. Just don't remember them. Let's do this. Enough silliness. Okay, off we go. I might put this back just a little bit. Give me a bit of leeway in. And away we go.
I think it worked. I think it worked. I think it worked. Let's let's go with that. Quantize, quantize away. Ha ha. Take that off record. And we will do the clicky bits. And we will press the magic Q button. And eh, six eighths. Let's let's have a No, not sixteenths, eighths. I I'm really not good at this bit. I get this I studied music for years, you know. Forgotten most of it. Funny that. It was a long time ago. Here we go, trial and error. That's a lot of error, but that one works. Let's go with that. Okay. Let's solo that and check if it's all okay. Here we go. Nice, and that's into the key change. Let's have a look at this. There was a wonky one. Let's have a look for the wonky one. Where's the wonky one? Right. There it is. There she blows. That one. Wonky. Hmm. You're a bit wonky, aren't you? Need to go there, 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 there. That looks about right. Let's give that a go. Oh, look at me go. That is pretty cool. I don't mind that. Let's hear it in context. Hmm, not bad. Look, it's a bit of a mishmash mosh mishmash shout out there uh it's a little bit of a, a mixed bag of all sorts of things at the moment i'm not sure how it's all going to gel together yet but it's we're getting there we're getting there and if you can hear the wonderful shakers tambourines and claps they are completely out of time i'll deal that with those separately i just threw them in this afternoon and hoped for the best prepared for the worst so that's not too bad we've, we've got a little bit of a thing going on there and I'm thinking 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 hmm and I probably won't have strings at the front there but need to do something there because it, it's got it there maybe introduce the strings from verse three they don't sound yeah I need to work on those Let's let's have a look at the strings. Let's have a, let's have a look at the strings. I think the strings are a bit of a ah. Oh, they're already here. They're they they're there waiting for us. I just need to do that. Oh. Where are they? I've lost them. There they are. So that's verse three. There was a piece of genius right about here. I really like those chords, right? It's wonderful. There's probably special, wonderful names for those. I could look that up. I won't. So I'll just continue, but we, we've got a bit of a gap here, and this bit's really boring. As I said, those poor violinists and cellists would be falling asleep right now. Nothing interesting to play at all. So we're going to... 
don't know what to do. This is the verse 3. Let's have a look at what I did for verse 1. Did I do the same? Because I these look, even just looking at the MIDI, different. Let's listen. Aha. Uh -huh. If you've got headphones on, you can hear the placement of the violins and everything. So as an orchestra would sit, you've got the first violins far left and second violins, violas, cellos and basses at the back. And that's, that's great. I love it. Wonderful. Gives me the stereo width. That's everything. But I actually need to put some upper notes there and not be so boring throughout. Mm. So I've got the top notes there. I mean, they are supposed to be like synth pads. It says what it is on the box. That's, that's okay. And then we go into the chorus. So that's that's the pre bit there. And that's verse three there. It's not as good as the verses there. Why not? This one's different to the others. That's because all I've done is just those notes, isn't it? What's that one? That's that's the one. What I've done is I've put it in. I actually copy out. Uh, uh, uh. I think I highlighted it and didn't do anything about it. Control C for copy. And we've already got the thingy me doogle. The playhead. There you go. Brains in gear. Playhead's there. Control V to paste. And look, here's one I prepared earlier. And what we want to do is we want to put. Hmm, another one here. And then extend. Uh oh. Get back. Oh, no, I did not sing that. Uh, no, no, no. It's that one, and that one, and that one, and that one. And for some reason, your. All the way over there. I want you. I want you to go. Let's see if we can do that. And that might suffice. Is that? Is that similar to what we've done before? I disorder. Not really. Okay. Do, do, do see this is where copying and pasting sometimes works, sometimes not so much. <sighs> Last two bars does a bit of that stuff. Last two bars there. Hmm. Huh. Let's play it. <laughs> So I know that that bit for the pre-chorus is in the right spot. I'm thinking there's going to be some differences with that last little bit there. Yeah, let's listen to it in context. What could possibly go wrong? Well, 
everything could go wrong because it did. Well, no, not actually really stuff, but claps. I like the claps. See? Little things. Cowbells and claps. Mm. <sighs> so, I should stop saying I say so a lot. I understand that now. I've watched some of my videos back. I'm sorry. <sighs> For a lot, really. Spoonful of breakfast spread. That was bad. If you don't know what I'm talking about, see yesterday's video about singing better with spreads. <sighs> oh dear. What am I doing? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Shut up, Kiana. Just get on with it. Yes. Just get on with it. Okay, so that is the pre chorus there. Eh. I'm gonna... Oh, I know. Stop it. And that's uh, that works and is the same there. Will be the whole pre chorus. Or not. I know, see, eventually I get there. It takes my old brain a little while to get going. Yeah. Mm hmm. See if this will work. It doesn't. That didn't. That didn't work. There we, there we go. There, there um. we got, and we get rid of, and that's the there. Do the see clicky bits. Delete all those clicky bits. Put that back to there and do a control V to paste. And look, presto, here's one I prepared earlier. I don't want those guys to hang around too much because these strings aren't. Too bad, actually. I do like Spitfire stuff. It's mainly because it's good or good dish prices. I mean, this stuff's free. That's the best price. But you can get better quality, and of course, you pay for it, which is fair enough. <sighs> Berlin strings. Oh, I would love to give those a go. Just saying. <laughs> Let's have a listen to verse three onwards uh, with the strings. Sorry, with the strings in context over here. When I'm writing a song and doing something like this, I know it's right. When I start to smile and I can't stop smiling, it makes me happy. That's good. I think that sounds nice. <sighs> I'm tired. Takes a lot to do this. <laughs> I haven't even started mixing, balancing. I haven't done the vocals yet. <sighs> oh, one thing at a time. But we've got that little bit done. There's a bit. We've got a bit. And a bit of the bridge too, look at us go. Ah. You know 
what I've done and I've just realised it. I've done a little bit of this counter melody from the pre-chorus into the bridge. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Let's have a listen. And then you listen to the... I didn't mean to do that. That was just a happy accident. <laughs> oh, I'm cleverer than I think I am. So if we get string sorted, that would be awesome. We've got something in the bridge now. I do love these two guitars. And I am going to pan one left and one right. It's the same MIDI but different sound. So the one's that electric guitar and one's the moon guitar. I think that'll be to give a bit of ear candy sort of stuff going on. Get the claps and the shaker better. Don't overdo it. I've got it from the start, but it needs to be, again, starting small and then building up. Uh, the piano, I'm thinking about just building some nice chord progressions to go with the strings, perhaps. Mm, I'm not sure. I'll have to have a play. And then I'll go back to the... The, the drums, which are exceedingly quantized and boring and plain, and there needs to be a lot of work with that. But look, we're getting there. What have we done for the pre-chorus here? We've got nothing pretty much. That's okay. Because the pre the first pre chorus is going to be me singing, so let's let's hear what that sounds like. Uh, words. Oh yes, that's right. I remember. <laughs> yes, there is a story behind this song. You'll have to like and subscribe and ring the bell and watch my next. Actually, I'll do a live. One of these coming up. So you'll have to subscribe and ring the bell so you know when I'm live. It'll be about this time, which doesn't make any sense because you could be watching this at any time. It's not now and it's not back then, but it might be in the future for you. Well, it's definitely in the future because I'm going to do it in a couple of days. So key anyway, subscribe, the bell. You'll find out and I'll do it live and you can ask me questions and 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 strongly encourage me to change things and delete things if need be. <laughs> ah, I'll, I'll post that one soon. You'll find out. So, all right. So what are we doing? Pre-chorus. That's right. It's very simple because the verses and the choruses are very wordy and very melodic. And, oh, see, I'm using big words late at night. Melodic. So I wanted something just really plain and simple. Even with the lyrics, it's just, um, yeah, I'll, I'll play the end of the verse. I met you, you met me. That's it. Or it might go like this. I met you. I think sounds better because it's just it's not so up and downy because then the chorus goes a bit uppy and then downy again. I did learn music theory for many years. These are not the technical terms that they usually teach. Just saying. <clears throat> All right. Um. Should we have one more listen? I'm going to leave it there for the night, I think. it's uh, This is enough torture that I've put you through, I think. 
one more lesson and I'm going to work on this some more and you can join me if you choose to. It's always your choice to join me in, in a live session and I'll fix bits. So on that happy note, listen, enjoy, until then, and a bit more. Hmm.